Hi future homeowner, this is Frank. I want to bring you up to date. We are just finished with the sanding of the drywall, so I'm just going to take you through the inside real quick and show you a couple things. Um, this is, of course, the outside. We're almost through a couple of trim boards, and this is ready for paint. This is what it looks like right after they get done sanding. You see it's very dusty on the floors. We have to, we're actually, it puts lots of water on the floor and we suck all that up with shop vac so there's no residue left. So, this is a brief video. Here is the top bedroom office, whichever you choose to be. Again, there's your view. It all should look for very familiar to you. Coming back into the bonus room, we are. this is upstairs. There's the linen closet. There's your bathroom. There's the other master bathroom upstairs. And there, again, is your bathroom going into there. Of course, there's no drywall because we put hardy backer up, not drywall. Uh, here's your stairwell going down. This is a key thing here, 42 inch wide here. And as you come down to the platform, we have almost 50 inches here. Why? Because as you bring your furniture up, you can get it up without a narrow stairwell. So you'll find the same thing downstairs in the garage. Because when you come up and you make this swing with your mattresses, you have so much more room. And I promise you when you move, you or your movers will notice this. Back downstairs. Again, pardon my voice, allergies. This is the main living room, what it looks like. Ready to paint. Again, dust. Here's your fireplace. That's where your TV and mantle is going to go. And this is the painters, hard at work. Now here, here's your house color going on. Oh, make a video. Hey, bud. Here is, here is the mantles and things like that. Okay, resuming back, um, this is what I was talking about earlier. This is granite, so you got a place to sit your stuff. With the painter there, you get a good idea of the scale of what's going on. I don't know how these guys, I'm, I'm a wood maker. These guys are artists with brushes. I don't understand it, I get too bored. Okay, now, let's walk back here to the master. There's your tray ceiling, sanded ready for paint. There's this, there's your bathroom. Again, shower area is blank because we put hardy backer in there, insulation's up, everything's sealed, ready to go. And then we turn, this will be your air return. Be sure to change your filters once a month. This is your washer and dryer room. These are hammer and resters. These are codes that get required to go on in buildings now. That's when you turn water off. Sometimes you hear that knock in the wall. That prevents that. Water heater goes here. This is the open area I told you about. And this is where I'm going to put the smart station. Again, going back downstairs. 42 inches wide stairs. Normal 36. Step down onto the landing. 50 inches wide. Same thing, you get that good sweep. I'll show you, you get that good sweep. So as you come up, furniture goes right in. Of course, you'll have a front entrance here as well, but you do the same things, top and bottom. And let's take a quick look outside. Well, let's look out here. The water line is right here. That's it going into the house right there. You have a spigot here. This is this is your main sewer line this is an inch and a half line that comes through to right here to what's called an e1 grinder pump some specifics here for this it sets on a bed of gravel and since we're in the floodplain we pour concrete around it to anchor it so if it ever does flood it won't float up out of the ground and you have to work on it this way it stays on the ground where it's supposed to it doesn't ever move done you just fire it back up these are your air conditioning systems. Both of those are set up out of the floodplain or one foot above where the, the, the big flood happened in 2005. 
I think it was 2005. Right here is your air conditioner units. They're one foot above uh, the 100 year flood stage. Uh, your flood vents, we're almost to grade here. We got, a little, we got to put a little more topsoil in. We managed, we got some great topsoil off of this site that we have saved if I don't fall. Right here. So this actually came this is from four feet down. We found incredible farm, it's what we call farmland soil. Great stuff. You have beautiful grass. Okay, here's your color. There's another painter up there, hard at it. This is, what, this is your side profile of what everything looks like. All right, we'll see you next time. Stay tuned.